the YouTube is Jared. I'm the World Blade Works. And I am a little bit scared to do this. But I just sharpened this 3V katana that I made, which is, would be a very valuable tool. I've only got it done to 100 micron finish on the edge. It's not perfect edge, but it's a uh, it's a it's a knife edge, and um, I think it is. Yeah, I don't see any light glancing off to speak of. But basically, we're doing an abuse test here. You just saw the video with Arctotis with the Ostemper 1095 from uh, not my current heat treater, but another one over in Raleigh, and. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing, but on a lower shelf, and see what happens. And we'll just be cutting on it a little bit lower down on the, uh, on the side. Uh, let's stab it first. problem. Beating it in a submission. The edge is incredibly durable though. It's getting hot. I don't know why it's not cutting anymore though. Okay. Boy. 3V is some tough stuff. Hopefully. This thing will focus, and you can see there's no real chips. That is absolutely incredible. So what just really messed up the edge on the 1095 did not do jack squat to this 3V blade. So. If you want a collector, um, in these last three Arctotis swords that I have, they'd be great on everything but steel. And uh, we have pretty good, darn, darn good performance on our on our uh, tomahawks in 1095 because we have a different heat treat. I really don't know how well the heat treat really went on those Arctotis blades. They're chipping out. They're not acting 100% like Bainite. Um, whereas the local heat treater that I have is uh, much more um, consistent. And we quit using the other people in Raleigh. So Chinooki Katana in 3V has definitely proved its pudding. So hopefully you can see the shot. But all right. I hope it was fun to watch, and um, maybe we'll have some more extreme tests, tests in the future.